there, my name's Tracy May. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My blog is www.bedlamandbutterflies.blogspot.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to make this little envelope punch board box. I'm using this as a hostess gift in a party that I'm doing next week so I'll be demonstrating this to the hostess filling it with some notelet cards, the little Stampin' Up! 3 by 3 ones and giving that to to her as a thank you for hosting the party for me. I thought I would share with you how I've made this. Uh, the box itself is four and a half centimetres high by eight and a half centimetres by eight and a half centimetres and I particularly wanted it this size to fit some little um, three by three cards that I've made to go inside. I'm not going to show you those. I may put them on my blog after the party but I'd like an element of that to be a surprise for her. Um, you could fill this with some chocolates or anything else that you like. Now I've decorated this with a belly band using the Sweet Sorbet DSP which is a free celebration gift at the moment and I've used a scallop circle punch and butterflies just to decorate it and some of the baker's twine that's also a free gift with celebration if you spend 45 pounds you can choose one free gift spend 90 pounds you can choose two links are all on my blog www.bedlamandbutterflies.co.uk apologies i'll put it all up anyway so let me get on with making this box as I said, using the envelope punch board, I'm starting off with a piece of cardstock, 20.5 centimetres by 20.5 centimetres, and I will put all of the measurements up in inches as well as in centimetres. Now I'm going to punch at 7 centimetres and score, and then 7 centimetres. Oops, a daisy. I'm working at a bit of an ankle for the camera. Seven. Seven. And seven. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to hope that this time they all meet up. This is the third time I've filmed it because I don't know what's going on with my measurements at the moment. I'm going to do seven there. Right eight, seven, right eight, and do seven. And then I could have missed the final one on that side, so I'm just going to flip it back over and do seven there. So that is you've punch and score at seven on all four sides, flip the paper over, punch and score at seven again. I'm just going to round off the corners because we're going to be keeping these flaps on and then I'm going to line up to the score line there. I'm not sure if you can see that in this light. Oops. Line it up to the score line and then just score across and then just rotate it all the way around. You don't need to punch again. She says almost doing that. Line it up. Ooh. And score. Line it up. And score. This is good practice actually for doing the demonstration in the party. And then I'm going to just burnish these score lines to fold them more easily. I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, now the next steps are to cut down the side flaps. I prefer to cut and stick than just to fold them in. I find them, they can start getting a little bulky. So I'm just going to rotate it around and cut 
just down on the right hand side of all of them. Now for the sake of speed I'm going to stick this down with snail but you probably want to use Tombow glue or double sided sticky tape which I'll be using at the party itself. Right and then let's just get this lined up so you can see it. You just oops, line up these edges and then stick. And then you do that all oops I'm going off screen. Line up and then stick all the way around and up and then oh, this is why I put all the snail on in this one go line up and stick and that one I didn't stick properly there you go and there we have our little gift box I'm going to decorate this with a belly band. Now I've pre-made the belly band just for the sake of speed. It's a piece of A4 cut down to 8.4 centimetres. I've decorated with a strip of DSP. You could do that however wide you like. And then I've just scored. Now the score is at 6.2 centimetres. 11 centimetres, 19 and a half centimetres and 24.2 centimetres. I'll put all the measurements up on the screen and I shall have them on the blog post as well. And then, oops, I have forgotten to decorate the sides of my box. Again, for the sake of speed, I'm just going to do that with the snail. I've just cut strips, four strips of DSP to 8.2 by 4 centimetres and I'm just going to stick those all the way around just to pretty up the box a bit on the sides and then it doesn't matter which way you put it into the holder And when I measured this earlier, it all fit. So I'm just going to have to film this all over again. Oops, no, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to film this all over again. <laughs> 